Yo, how you guys doing, Wall Street players? Um, it is January 6th, six days into 2021, and we are doing great. I got a lot of content out there for you guys, and you know, just little by little, we're growing this. And just got off my workout four miles in, and uh, I feel great. Um, I have been a little bit a little bit sore, but hey, we're still working out, and I hope you guys are too, or doing some kind of exercise, all right? Um, you know, we got to keep that blood flowing. We got to keep that, we have to get our body right. So that is one thing that we're going to do. Second thing is I want to talk about investment platforms. Um, people have been asking like, yo, like, how do I get started? Like, where do I go? You know what I mean? Like, for some reason, it, I was the same way. Like, investing seems like so foreign to everybody. And it's really easy, you know, like, it's not not hard to do and not hard to get into at all. So there's so many different platforms that you can do, especially nowadays, are the apps like Robinhood and, and stuff like that. So um, that's the first thing I'll talk about. You can use Robinhood. I don't use it. I have used it before. Um, just pretty basic um app i'm not really gonna talk about it because i haven't used it in a while so i don't even know how it looks like now i don't know what the options are so if you want to look into robin hood you could look into that um td ameritrade is something that I've, I've looked into but i feel like that's for a little bit more for um more skilled uh traders i guess you can say that like there's more options like limit orders and stop orders and all that stuff so if you're if you know i think that's if, when you get a little bit more into stocks like i'm barely getting into like td ameritrade um, but there is a lot more options on TD Ameritrade. There's a lot more like stocks on there. And there's also like different ways of like they have charts and, um, you know, what I mean, all like all the analytics to the different uh, stocks and stuff like that. So that's really good about it. Uh, there's Webull. I, I have I've heard people promote that. I actually did sign up to Webull because the one of the YouTubers that I watch, he had a code. And if I put $100 down, to um, put $100 in my investment account, then I was able to get six stocks, which I did. Uh, there were some like random stocks that were worth like six bucks or something like that. But, you know, uh, I didn't really pay attention to the stock for a little bit and then they actually went up. So I ended up uh, having like 40 bucks, but I took that money out to invest into something that I really wanted, uh, something I did want to invest, that in just some random stocks. So that was pretty cool. Um, I never used a hundred to do anything. I just pulled all that money out and I put it into my, um, my actual account that I have. Um, the main one that I use, I've been using Square Cash for a long time for like money transactions to pay people or to, to get paid on the different businesses that I've been doing. So I've had Square Cash for a while and then they started doing the investment stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, so I use that. It's really easy to use, super easy platform. Um, the problem is that not everything's on there. Your basic stocks are on there. You know what I mean? Like the Apple and the Tesla and the um, Google and like, you know, the, the most of the stocks are on there. You know, you, you do have a couple stocks that aren't on there. And unfortunately, you can't really do your homework on there because it doesn't have um, any graphs or anything like that yet. I'm sure they're going to get into that. Um, so what I usually do is I go to TD Ameritrade. I look at the stocks, like whatever, like the uh, whatever one I want to look into, like, for example, Apple. So I look up Apple. I see all the fundamentals, all the um, graphs, all the numbers and all that stuff of the stock. And if I want to invest and I go back to Square Cash and I invest that way. Something else that I like about Square Cash is I get my money like instantaneously. Like I'll, I'll invest and it goes right in. And then when I take the money out, it comes right out. Um, I did that on, on uh, TD Ameritrade. I did a trade that I did a trade of a, of a share of a stock that wasn't on Square Cash that I wanted to invest. And I put it in TD Ameritrade. And then I was like, oh, crap, like I'm losing money. I'm losing money. I was like, let me just take it out. So I'm like, OK, here's a trade order da, 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 done on Square Cash. It just puts the money right back into my account, you know, no problems. And then like I went back to check, you know, I wanted to withdraw that money to put it into my Square Cash. And it's like I'm, I was still losing money on that position. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, I did the order. But when I did the order, the money was, it was at set at a certain amount. And by the time I pressed go, it went lower. So it, was, it wasn't going to sell my stock until it went back up to that price. So I had to refix it. So it's just a pain in the neck. <laughs> like I said, um, that's the way proper investing is supposed to be done. But like I told you from the beginning, I am not a skilled investor by any means. Um, so don't take this by advice. Just see that I'm making trades and I'm messing up and I'm losing money and I'm making money as well. So um, it's just all learning experience. You know what I mean? So those are basically your four things, the four different platforms that there is out there. There's, there's a hundreds of them that you can use but those are like the main ones that i know about or that i've used um also i want to talk about acorns real quick man acorns is not for me to like invest but it's really simple to make you know to get some change in there and like simple little things 
So I, I connect my, my acorns to my card. Every time I make a purchase, it rounds up everything and it invests, in that, invests that money into um, to one of the funds that they have. I've talked about this before and I'm already like at 15 bucks <laughs> and I've only been doing it for like a week or so, you know what I mean? So I was like, holy crap, like that's really cool. And also there's a few, there's a, they have like 300 plus different um, businesses on there, like Fiverr or like um, like the, the, the logo that I did, I did it on Fiverr, but I did it through acorns. So if you do it through acorns, you get five bucks invested into your acorns account by fiverr if you use fiverr you know what i mean so it was like pretty cool so i, I so that i got five bucks from there um what else did i use oh true bill i used true bill to um to organize all my you know all my um expenses and, and, and deduction um my expenses and income stuff like that and they gave me five bucks as well i did that all through acorns and uh and i went to chevron the other day filled up my gas tank and they put just because i use chevron my card that's a link to acorns i use that at chevron and they automatically invested in my account too so um yeah it's nickel and diamond here and there but can you imagine like you know 10 20 years from now you have a couple thousand bucks in there you know what i mean so you can't go wrong with that um and that's basically it so those are the platforms if you guys want me to like look into any other platforms and talk about it let me know but that's basically it for today stay motivated keep learning um and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm out peace